Unit 66. Unit 66, calling dispatch. Come in, dispatch. This is dispatch. Go ahead, Unit 66. Is that you, Larry? Yeah, it's me, Ida. Stuck on shit detail out here at Hull House. Well, it could have been worse. <laughs> oh, yeah? How? It could have been me. You're a funny gal, Ida. Unit 66. Over and out. startled me. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm getting ready for Halloween. You, you, you tell me you've been living here? Uh-huh. Why do you ask? Well, this is county property. No one's allowed to be here. Why not? Well, because of the murders. Murders? Uh, a few years back. Halloween night, to be exact. A group of kids from St. Rita's Academy got massacred here. Here? Oh, God, how awful. Yes, ma'am. Um, I'm sorry, you're, you're gonna have to leave. Says who? Says me. You see this badge? That means I'm the law and we have to obey it. Here, I'm the law. And it's time to pronounce sentence.
treat Lois. What is wrong with you, huh, Reggie? It was a joke, Vince. Relax. It's kind of cute. Thanks. Yeah, sure. Glad you like it. Smooth move, bro. Yeah, bite me. Hey, Reg. <laughs> That's a pretty cool joke, man. Real deaf. Yeah, sure, whatever. So, what's the plan? Just cruising for some cuties. Yeah. Looks like you already caught a couple. station wagon. So much for being cool, huh? Lee? Abby, what are you doing with these? To college brochures. Yeah, but we aren't graduating for another year. I know. Not all of us can be head cheerleaders, you know. Some of us have to work twice as hard to get noticed half as much. See, each of those colleges has a boy-to-girl ratio of two to one or better. So while I'm earning my BA and my PhD, I'll actually be working on my MRS degree. Jeez, I uh, haven't even decided on how to wear my hair tonight. Come on. You can't honestly tell me you haven't even thought about college. I thought about it, sure, Abby, but I don't know. Sometimes I feel like my life hasn't kicked into gear yet. Just sort of biding my time, you know? Waiting for something to happen? I'm like a cute guy with a rad car to come along. <laughs> yeah, listen, I I'm using your shower, okay? Sure. You still going as a harem girl? Mm, yeah. And you know, that thing's really skimpy. I can't wear a bra with it. I'm complaining, huh? <laughs> if I had your body, I'd never wear a bra. Hell, I'd never wear anything. Abby, what are you talking about? You have a great body. Think if I water them, they'd grow? <sighs> I'm taking a shower. Probably at the dance. What dance, party boy? The costume dance. At school? You might have heard about it if you went sometime. Yo, who cares, man? I won't find me a bitch who can suck a golf ball through 10 feet of garden hose. <laughs> <laughs> you think you can find one with a friend for me? Huh? Dr. Frankenstein couldn't find a friend for you. With or without the mask. It's funny, Lois. Especially coming from the girl voted most likely to. Ooh. <laughs> hey, dickhead, that's my woman you're talking about. She started it, man. We'll apologize to Come on, Vince. Apologize. That's it, baby. Make him beg. <coughs> okay, Vince, you made your point. Now let him go. Say none of your business, Nick. I'm sitting in a speeding van and you're choking the driver. That makes it my business. Fuck you. I said let him go. Okay, I apologize, I'm sorry. Just cool it, guys. Cool it. <coughs> that wasn't so tough now, was it? I don't even know why I let you hang with us, Morrison. Because it's his van, you dick. Listen, you. Next time you get in my face, you better have a whole lot more than just a knife. 
And you better have a whole bottle of mouthwash. Because your breath smells like you've been munching some stale carpet. What's that supposed to mean? Well, if I was going to be eating at the Y, I'd like to know who else was sampling the cuisine. Okay, guys, yo, we're all impressed. You both caught big brass balls. Now let's sit down before the clanging makes me deaf. Watch it. Oh, man, you got a death wish or something? You know how crazy you can get. up in two different tab zones. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, your mama is so fat, the back of her neck looks like a pack of hot dogs. Don't be starting this shit, man. What are you guys doing? Snapping, you know, doing the dozens. Oh, you mean this is one of your small town games? Hey, yo, Rich, can I try? Yeah, sure, what the hell? <laughs> yo, mama has so many double chins, she needs a bookmark to find a mouth. <laughs> right, Orson. Not bad, homie, not bad. Okay, Orson, you can get off the mothers now, huh? Cause I just got off on yours last night. <laughs> hey, guys, look. Hey, well, well, well. If it ain't the head cheerleader herself in her little shadow. And dips on the cheerleader and you can take their friend. Fuck you. She's probably got a wilder fine thing anyway once to get out of those owl glasses. What about me? You can fuck the car's tail by Orson. Good evening, ladies. Might we be a service? Uh, depends. Are you guys going to the dance? Shit, no. But uh, we'd be happy to drop you there. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. We're out here in the middle of nowhere. It could be hours before another car comes by. So we'll walk. I don't have a coat. I'll freeze. She's right. Yeah, now get your fine self inside and we'll warm them up for you. Look, you're freezing, too. <sighs> Abby, come on. Well? class I don't know I haven't been there since the first week how well, I knew I'd seen you before I must have made a big impression on you then what would make you say that well why would you remember me hey guys miss cheerleader here has the hots for me <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want us to drop you at the school dance or a motel <laughs> 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 You're an actual jerk. Hey, there's a quickie mark. Pull in, I want to get some smokes. Vince, man, what do you think? An improvement. Hey, Nick, I won't get me some beer. Look, I lifted my brother Rallo's ID. Know what I'm saying? Ha <laughs> ha.
Yeah. Jeez, it's the last one. Here, you have it. No, thanks. You sat first. No, really. I want you to have it. Thanks. Listen, I'm sorry for calling you a jerk. Nah, listen, I was really out of line back down. I apologize. No, you were right. <laughs> you did make an impression on me in algebra class. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll take a pack of menthol clues too, please. This is supposed to be you? It is me. I just look a lot younger without the goatee. Yeah. And I'm the Queen of England. Pleased to meet you, Queenie. Now, give me my beer so I can get out of here. Oh, I don't think so. What do you mean? You're refusing me service? You got that right. Yo, look, Pops. Your mama's so ugly, Ripley's couldn't even believe it. <laughs> Fuck off before I call the cops. Yeah, right, the cops. Yo, come on, man. Just this my Whoa, whoa, man. I was just reaching for my wallet. I'll engrave that on your tombstone, asswipe. What should I engrave on your tombstone, asswipe? Yo, come on, Vince. Yo, what are you doing? He's showing this old fart a bit of his own bullshit. Cut left, leave, drop back, your pass, there's no way you can have gotten sent. I'm telling you, sorry, the guy's an idiot. He should not be playing ball. Hold it! All right, son. Now just take it easy. Easy. Go. Oh. I just, I just flew through a fucking window. Of course I'm not okay. Good. Come on, we got to call Cool. 
Uh-huh. Uh, three, uh, three men in a room. Uh-huh. One of them was in a mask. Hey, Lieutenant. All right, thank you. You sound like I just kissed an oncoming truck. Listen, I'm really sorry about missing your retirement party. Yeah. Candle in a Twinkie. Not exactly the event of the season. When's the official date? About two hours. Just after Cinderella loses a slipper. So what do you got for me? Well, I finished taking the clerk's statement. You still want to talk to him? Is he still claiming it's a robbery? He says the kids cleaned out the register just for me and the boy walked in. So I still want to talk to him. Mr. Morris? Hi. I'm Lieutenant Dewhurst. Homicide. I didn't think this town was big enough to have a homicide department. I mean, I'm also the bomb squad in the truancy division. Tell me, uh, you like magic? Magic? Yeah, you know, um, vanishing act, sawing ladies in half, you know, magic. Yeah. That's wonderful. Because you and me, we're gonna do a trick together. So we're gonna make all that stolen money reappear before your boss gets back. Are you ready? Choose a card. Any card. I don't understand. That's a Miranda card. And unless you start telling me the truth, I'm gonna read it to you while I'm dragging your sorry ass down to the county lockup. And then we're gonna search this store, your car, and every orifice in your body until we come up with the cash. Drive. We're gonna drive until you're a million miles away. Uh, Reggie can't wait that long. And they got roadblocks all over the county by now. Shit! It's okay, Reggie. It's okay. We're gonna take care of you. Come on! Shit, we're almost out of gas. Hey, you know, Rich. No place to run, no place to hide. Fuck, don't you ever feel this thing, huh? I put 20 bucks in this morning. That cop must have hit the tank. Fuck. We're probably leaking gas all over the place. We've got to find a place to lay low. Fucking cool out and chill for a bit. Well, we can't go high. No shit, Nancy Drew. Shut the fuck up, Nick. Fuck you, Vince. Reggie's bleeding to death back here, and you two are playing Bonnie and Clyde. Fuck! Quit pushing me, okay? Fuck! Hall House. What? The old funeral parlor Hull House. It's been empty for years. You're crazy. Damn it, he needs a hospital. That place is a rat trap. He's gonna die of some kind of infection if he doesn't bleed to death. She's right, Vince. It's not a good idea. She's right. It's a fucking great idea. Lieutenant, sir, the roadblocks are set. The town is sealed up tight. I want you to remind everybody that these kids are not killers. Yeah, it's not like they didn't try, huh? Look, I don't want you or anybody else looking to get even. It's been enough bloodshed for me. Yes, sir. You got too many bad habits, Tony. Uh, yes, sir. Some handle with kid gloves. Well, he's off the force in an hour or so. So he can bite my badge. This is an all point road and on a late mile of great band. Vince, 
Please don't make us go in. I'm getting bad vibes. Fuck your vibes. I'm serious, please. Once we cross over the underground stream, we're totally screwed. What underground stream? That wall is built on top of it. Why? Supposedly, demons can't cross over running water. <laughs> yeah, right. Boo. Well, maybe it'll work on cops, too. Vince. Nick, come on. I'm inside now. I am not leaving Reggie out here. Then bring him with you. He can't be moved. If you don't get out of this fucking van right now, there's gonna be another ghost haunt in this place, okay? What are you gonna do, Vince? Shoot me? If I have to. Go ahead. What? Come on, tough guy. Pull the trigger. Blow my brains out. Because that's the only way you're getting me out of this van, you stupid motherfucker. All right, does anybody else want to be a fucking hero, huh? Not haunted. What? It's not haunted. This place. According to the legend, it's not haunted. It's possessed. A gateway to hell. Ooh. And tonight's the one night the gates open, right? deserted let's get out of here it looks like somebody's living here so whoever it is they're obviously not here now talking about Abby, huh? Demons? Well, why the hell were these fucking demons of yours? Maybe they're the ones who put up these nice decorations. I can't hear you all the way down there in hell. Well, maybe I better stop a whispering there. There, that ought to be enough to wake the fucking dead, don't you think?
coming from? Forget the draft. It smells like something died in here. It's too late. We're all damned. Look! I'll look. What is it, blood? Sure looks like it. No, no, I, I must have hit a, a pipe in the wall. It's probably just rusted water or something. I don't know, Vince. I, I don't see any pipe. Ah! <sighs> huh. <laughs> Smooth move, numbnuts. Give him a break. It's probably the closest he's ever been to a wet hole. <laughs> Well, anyway, let's, uh, well, let's see if we can find a warmer room around this place. Holy shit! Who the hell are you? Yeah, who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? I'm asking the questions here. I live here. Nobody lives here. I do. I was just getting ready for trick-or-treaters. Guess that explains all the lit candles. Anybody else live here? Depends on what you mean by anybody. Better talk straight, bitch, or he'll blow your brains out. Won't you, baby? Damn right I will. Orson, give me the gun. No. This is not a game, now give me the gun. No! Drop it, Orson. Give it up. Drop it! Shut up, both of you, man! You're not the powerless little wimp anymore, are you? Don't make me shoot you, man. You're not gonna shoot him. I'm not, huh? No. You need me. You need me to watch everybody while you make sure she's here alone. Why should I trust you more than any of these other assholes? Come on, Vince, because I can do it. Honestly, I wasn't afraid of those cops back there. Orson, what do you think you're doing? Shut the fuck up! <laughs> All right, Orson. You take care of them and her. And we'll go check out the house, okay? Come on, let's go. Let's go. What are you gonna do? Just go. Fuck you. I'm on Mountain View, about two miles north of Campbell Ranch. Tell me, uh, how many big barns you figure are out this way? Eight or nine. Why? You ever been to Vegas? Sure thing. Won over a thousand dollars once. You ever take in one of those magic shows? No, are they any good? Yeah. I saw a guy one time made an entire elephant disappear. No shit. Yeah. Well, I know he didn't really make it disappear. He just found something big enough to hide it in. Like what? A barn? Well, we know they didn't go back into town. And that leaky gas tank's gonna limit mobility, so... They must be hiding out somewhere. Forget this. I'm putting on some music.
Man, can't you keep it quiet? What's that noise? Molly just Harrison playing with the girls? I don't think so. <laughs> what are you doing? Get back to work. Fuck Shop showed me how. Hurry up! Ben's gonna go ballistic when he finds out we're gone! Abby, what about Nick? What about Nick? We gotta get out of here now! Abby, I'm not leaving without Nick. I'm not! Look, we can get help, okay? You're a real tough guy, aren't you? Guns are so sexy. Don't you think so? Of course, Vince has a much bigger one. But then again, size isn't really that important as long as you know how to use it. Do you know how to use it? I could help you. I believe in your potential. You two want me, don't you? That depends. Can you suck a golf ball through ten feet of garden hose? Mm-hmm. 
66. Unit 66. This is dispatch. Come in, 66. Larry, where are you? Open. Please, God. Open. Abby! Unlock. So close. Wait, wait, Reggie's over there. No, later. We've got to hide. What are we doing in here? Nick got away from Vince. Great. Come on, let's go find him. Don't you realize? The minute you leave here, you go back to being Holly the cheerleader's cute little friend. Her cute little shadow. A nobody that has to try twice as hard to get noticed half as much. Wouldn't you just once like to be a man-eating cat? The kind of woman that Vince would find completely irresistible? You could help me do that? Do you want me to? Please don't. Look, I can't. Stop it! <laughs> Too late. You've already made your choice. What are you talking about? <laughs> Halloween, bitch! Let's just forget these airheads. Let's get the hell out of here. Yo, we're all staying. There's nowhere to go anyway, in case you forgot there's a dead cop out there. Come up empty at the Gentry Ranch, so I'm heading over to the Davis place. You sure you don't want some backup? Not just yet. Give the boys a little more time to cool down. It's after midnight, you know. Officially, you're retired. So make a citizen's arrest. <laughs> Wait here, okay? Don't go in there. Just fucking uh, wait here, okay?
you. How did you get away from Orson? <laughs> I don't want Orson. Holy shit, whose room is this? Mrs. Satan's? Abby! What's happened to you? Damn if I know! I guess the devil made me do it. <laughs> Doesn't hurt. That's right. Come to me, Reggie. It'll be okay. There is no pain. Oh, come to me. Do it. That's it. Reggie. This way. Get away. Where the fuck do you think you're going? They hotwired the van. And don't forget to do up your fly. I am.
And Vince? I don't buy it. No way. Me and Vince? Every way. You lying slut. Come on, you freaking whore. You alley cat, show me what you got. I said, show me what you got. Snake. And the Lord Satan said, Let there be light. silo or an abandoned ranch house. No, nothing. Unless... What? I had to tell me. Unit 66 hasn't checked in for a while. All house.
officer. I need your help. You're not supposed to be here. I know! Look at this. Are you listening to me? You wiggled my uniform. And you broke my window. Are you listening to me? I need your help. That's what I'm here for, miss. Please get the gun away from me. This is not my gun, Missy. This is my pistol. This is my gun. This is for shooting and this is for fun. What the hell are you talking about, you idiot? I'm just trying to give you peace of my mind. See? <laughs> No way, the van's bust. We gotta go in there and get everyone. Now, where is Reggie? I don't know! He was in the van, I don't know! Come on, Nick. we're gonna get him. I'm not Come going on. back in! Nick, I'm not playing! Come on! Nick, please, no! Nick, I can't go back in! Okay, I'm going to find Abby. Nick, keep your eye open for these strength! Hey, Nick! Yeah, you! Your mama's so stupid, she raised a son who thinks he's gonna get out of here alive. <laughs> oh, oh. Come on. What the hell's going on around here? Come back and ask him? Hell no. Why'd you do that? Well, this will bring tears to your eyes. Why'd you kiss me? I don't know. I, I figured we may never get out of here. And it's something I've been wanting to do since that day I saw you at school. I knew you were something special that day I saw you. special for a punk like me.
with us, man. We're having a really bad first date. necessary all right there peg drop the shotgun i can't do that try please he's gonna kill me now we're taking your car and getting the fuck out of here nick she's one of them you mean like Orson? Vince, get away from her! Fuck off, Nick. This is our only way out of here, man. Listen to me, son. The officer you shot was wearing a flak vest. He's fine. You haven't killed anybody, not yet. He's okay? You're actually buying this bullshit? He's a pig. He's lying. Of course that cop died. What makes you so fucking smart, huh? Oh, the minute you drop that gun, that pig's gonna blow your fucking head off. Unless you shoot him first. He's trying to fuck with me, huh? Ah! Die, you fucking pig! Your kids all right? Yeah. You all right, miss? I think so. Well, come on over here. Come on, you're safe now. We have to tell what's going on. You wouldn't believe us. We have to do something. Fuck on this bitch. Excuse me, but I've been such a scatterbrain lately. Lieutenant, come on, let's go! Great fucking trick! <laughs> Come on, please, come on. Hey, do it, explain to me. She retired yesterday. You ran away from me before. Shouldn't have done that, sweetheart. Come on, George, come, come on! on. <laughs> Took my shit! Yeah, come on. Hey, who's taking shit now, huh? Come on, baby, come on! You, I want you, you, you're mine! You ran away from me, you won't run away from me no more! <laughs> Come on, Nick! Fuck this, man. <laughs>
You concede that I can kill you at will. I can take your lives, but not your souls. Those must be given to me by word or deed. You want our souls? Not yours. Yours. Your soul is fresh, virginal. It has great power. If you give it to me, I'll let these two go free. This one saved your life tonight, didn't he? I'm giving you the chance to do the same for him. You really let them go? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what about this? got some sort of future in auto mechanics now. Let's get the fuck out of here. I know you wanted him, Abby, but I think Vince is keeping an eye out for me. We have to come up with a plan. You created diversion. What about your no hero speech? What about it? Yeah, we're not. Excuse me. I know you're a supernatural being with infinite powers and all, but I was just thinking, you see, I do a little magic myself. <laughs> now listen, I've got this one trick I'm very proud of. I bet you've never seen it before. Watch carefully. I say the magic words. Pocus, pocus. Abracadabra. And... You dare to challenge me, old man? <laughs> It's all right? Yeah, how about you? I've been better. Here. You know, neither of you was caught by the surveillance camera in the Quickie Mart earlier tonight, huh? You could just go on home. Nobody would ever know you were there. What about this? What about all them? Who'd ever believe this? <laughs> <laughs> 
Rest in peace. Come on. We can't do any more. It's, it's time to go. Seven people died tonight. We can't just erase that. The police will investigate, and so will the government. I, I can't explain it. Exactly. That's why I'm coming back next Halloween. Why? To make sure this doesn't happen again. And every Halloween after that till I die. We'll see. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> 